Welcome everyone to day seven of the co-op series. We are going to be facing Horde Knight in this episode, so I hope you all enjoy and uh, this one. And uh, so I've been crafting iron, iron arrowheads overnight, uh, making up some, making up the good stuff. Uh, I I need I figure I'm like oh I need to start power leveling my. Uh, I'm smithing because uh, Fangs has uh, passed me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. My bad. Um, doo -doo -doo. How much uh, do we need? How much clay? Uh, just, just get, just get like, probably like 200. Because it multiplies by 5. Yeah, I'm at 98. Yeah, just get like 200 and we'll be fine. Oops, I'll make our blunderbuss. Did you make yourself uh, a stone shovel? Yeah. I would have given you the level 245 iron shovel. I, for I forgot about that. Mine's 168, so that's good enough. Well, like, about how much block damage are you doing at the moment? <laughs> I can get completely in three hits, so... You could probably two-shot with this iron shovel. Well, I already got it, so... I just want to test it out on Clay, so... I like testing out tools like you while I'm recording you, just like, uh... Because it's just kind of fun. Oh yeah, this thing's really close to three-shotting it. Eh, no big deal. Right, no. I just like getting out of the Stone Age. <laughs> mm. I'm fine with staying in Stone Age for a bit. Yeah, Fangs has been working on a blunderbuss uh, overnight. Uh, have you gotten that crafted up? Uh, I need more forged iron. That's 16 per. But oh, I have everything right. Else. Here, That's open why up we the... need clay in the beginning. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, let me just throw some in. I split the clay up into two piles just to smelt it faster. Yeah. I was like, why'd you put all the clay in one stack? It's like, <laughs> it's just me being, I, I like to kind of focus on efficiency more. I'm like, if I'm not smelting any iron in there, I like to, uh, I like just to, I, I split into two stacks just to make sure I'm, you know, using the forge efficiently. Not, you know, like kind of get more bang out of the bang, bang for your buck out of the fuel. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Right, start the exact amount needed, so... Yeah, guys, right now I'm actually uh, going to get the spotlights for the, uh... For the, uh... The, uh... Because, uh, I completely forgot about that in previous episodes, and so... Uh, Fangs, do you want to save those for, like, when we actually build a base, or do you want to use, like, one or two on the horde base? Well, we can craft them, or place them down right now, because we can always just pick them back up. Oh, right. So. My bad. <laughs> Sometimes a little scatterbrained. It happens. Um, the best of us. Nobody's perfect. Nope. And... One spotlight is coming up. One spotlight down, gonna run across the roof of the prison to go get the second one. Oh. I actually have to jump all the way down. And... Just gonna have to beat through this uh, iron reinforced door, which isn't really that worrisome. And beat through that, you know, get the wood level out of the way. Still crafting iron arrows. Yeah, I still got 72 left. Yeah, we're not going to fight eight them in the snow area where it's snowing. That's going to be a stupid, stupid way to freeze to death. Well, that and if it if the snow gets uh, gets heavy, like you know, like kind of starts molding the ground more, that means uh, it'll be hard to find the bodies afterwards to loot. 
not just that, uh, the zombie, it'll raise the, how high the zombies can stand, so. I mean, as long as we build it high enough, they, they don't, uh, they don't get into the base that, that fast, like, they won't really get in. And, spotlight number two. Yeah, just gonna grab this little uh, spotlight, uh, guys, and uh, I'll meet you guys back at base here in a little bit. Oh, I don't have to use the wrench at all. Well, damn, now we all feel like an idiot. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, oh crap! I'm gonna destroy the spotlight. I swung one too many times. It's like, and it's like, oh, plus one spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, magnum cylinder and some lead. Let's see what you got. Oh, we actually forgot to raid a safe in the prison. A one. Uh, Where? it's, you know how, like, there's the two front towers that are, that are not on the, uh, main facility? Yeah. It's the tower to the north. Yeah, that has a, it has a little, it has a little desk safe in it, and I'm beating into it at the moment. I was like, wait a minute, this corpse up here wasn't looted, I'm like, let me check the rest of the tower, just to see if the loot's, uh, if this has been looted at all. Yeah, because once I realized the southwest tower didn't have anything, I'm like, uh, I'm not going to loot the rest of it. it probably, they probably don't have anything in it. Yeah, the tower I'm in currently, it's like it has a little desk safe in it and, and a uh, iron desk. And a body. Okay, so I was uh, looting the last uh, tower, guys, and and I realized that. Uh, okay, first off, like I swung a I swung the pickaxe uh, on the last little bit, uh, thinking I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna destroy this uh, spotlight, and uh, me and uh, me and Fangs uh, wind uh, wound up being idiots and. Uh, and, uh, turns out we did not need a wrench at all for the spotlights. It's like, oh. Oh. Yeah, I didn't... Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, fun little, fun little realization of stupidity. But yeah, I realized that that tower wasn't completely right. So... A little bit of paper, a little bit of ammo, and a 44 magnum cylinder, so. Anyways, just gonna organize some stuff, get some, get it sorted out, and, and, uh, we'll, we'll go catch up with, uh, Fangs after I'm done with that. Yeah, one of what I'm doing with the, with the place where we'll be finding the horde. Ah, yeah, guys, like, come back here, like, uh, I'm making blunderbuss ammo uh, for us, and, uh, Fangs working on it in the horde base, so. Looking pretty good. I'm not gonna upgrade any of these frames. I hope you know that. The wood frames, so like up top. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm going to uh, do some iron upgrades on the blocks. Yeah. So do you know why I'm not gonna upgrade the top ones? Because we can shoot through them. Yep. So, do you think the iron reinforced wood's gonna be good enough, or do you, or do you want me to go up one more level on them? One more level, if it never hurts. Press um. Oh, there's just zombies in the uh, scrapyard. I can try and take them out. Oh crap, I've ran out of iron. Go get some more. 
Where are the zombies? Oh, there She's there. right there. That I call her Pete. I call yeah, her Pete. Get out of there. I'll get I'll get him. Hey, damn, arrow to the face, one shot her. Well, I do. I it is set on like one of the lowest difficulty settings in the game, so. Plus, our, our weapons are getting better, so. Mine's orange tier, so. Your bow? Yeah. It makes sense. Still working on gunpowder. Takes a while to craft. Ow! 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 The fat one uh, uh, smacked me. I took a crawler's arm off. Just go get the... Go back to the base and get what you're trying to do. I got these guys. I was gonna wrench the cars for iron. Oh. Nothing in them. I feel bad. Yeah. I feel bad when I take an arm off of a crawler. It's like a because it's like he's already crawling and he's, he's already, already got... lost a leg. Well, yeah, he's lost his legs. It's like uh, it's like poor guy doesn't need to suffer anymore. Do you realize you're upgrading three drop instead of what you need to do? Okay, let's just hope it didn't land in the water. No, hope it didn't. It's not too far, but I'm not gonna get it until after Fortnite. Wrenching down some cars, wonderful. Brass radiator. Ah yes, more gunpowder. Another Duke token, just one. Nice. Yes. We're rich. Uh, we can be. Yeah, after I'm done wrenching this uh, car, I'll just grab a, uh, I'll go grab that airdrop, because I can do the upgrades really quickly. It's not concrete where we have to wait uh, for a little bit for it to dry. Yep. Um... Why'd you put the, the la- oh, good. I thought you put a ladder on this, uh, one down on the ground. <laughs> I put some spikes up around the base. I just need three more iron to do the last block I want to do. I got 15. I'll drop it right in front of me. Right in front of me. Got it? Nice. Yep, I got it. I mean, aside from a couple blocks, that's pretty good. But I'm gonna go fetch that airdrop now. I'll be, I'll meet those right. of you viewing at home uh, uh, over at the airdrop. All right, guys, we're I'm up on the uh, I'm coming up on the uh, airdrop. Drop that nitrate. Yeah, I got a friend here, Mr. Lumberjack. He he wants to have a word with me about my various endeavors. No, sir, I'm not interested in what you're selling. Unless it's that plaid shirt. Why are you interested in his plaid shirt? I like the black it's and red. red. I like uh, I like black and red plaid, like you sometimes. I think it looks cool. I'm not joking on that. Uh. Besides, like, if I was in the zombie apocalypse and I got his plaid shirt, then that means, uh, and most of the blood that uh, blood splatter would just blend in. That's the one way that they knew about using Deadpool's logic. Ooh, head explosion on 
One lumberjack, uh, dirt. That's one out of five. Time to go, go commit suicide in the lake so I can respawn all my HP and food so I'm ready for the night. Oh, brother. Oh. You're very it's optimistic. It's an effective strategy. You're effective. <laughs> You're very optimistic, I see. I never had an explosion, and I got 10 skill points. How is it not an effective strategy? Tell me. Uh, what I'm saying is you should be a little bit more optimistic. I don't think you can, you're going to die on Horde Night. Oh no, it's mainly so I don't die of hunger. Then eat some food. There's cans of food in my in my chest. Not much food. Not much food. And I'm already at 26 HP. I'd rather not waste it. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting smacked around at um, by the lumberjacks. No worries. Oh, there in a tree stump. There's a beaker, but I can't take it because I'm being yeah. chased by lumberjacks. Right now. Ah, yes, more death. What death is that? <laughs> like 13? I think it's 12. Yeah, it's mad tomato. I just leveled up again from killing the lumberjacks. Nice. We're about to farm these zombies for XP. And I. On PC version, you can actually crank up XP modifiers like to like plus three hundred percent. No. Or two hundred. Lucky bastards. What are the zombies smacking around? No, the XP modifier. Like that's broken. It is grind through levels insanely quickly. Well, then again, like they probably have it too. Like they'll probably have it once it gets released on this version. Like you know, maybe it'll disable like uh, disable trophies. Oh, one yeah. of the one of the lumberjacks just gave me a level to seventy three stone axe. Okay, airdrop time. Got my stuff. AK-47 barrel, Enforcer magazine, which is the 44 Magnum book, and Iron Iron Sledgehammer schematic, and got the got me a, a few and got some med kits. Well, since you are a red one Enforcer, I'll read the other. The other one you guys got. Wait a minute, you. You unlocked the 44 Magnum recipe? No, didn't you get it? That was McDiver's. Before? That was Mc, That was the McDiver's book for scrap armor. Oh. Well, we got. Well, we know have scrap armor, or that should be useful. Oh, something else. Hey, jar honey. I have a tree stump. I didn't have any on me. So that means I'm cured by infection. Woohoo! I'm no longer sick! Yeah, just. <laughs> oh, fun stuff. Oh, right, I should be crafting blunderbuss ammo. I, I completely forgot amongst the fighting the lumberjacks. Making 92 rounds. Hey, you want uh, the repair kit since I can't use it on my stuff? I mean, if you want me to, I can just uh, take your shotgun real quick and uh, prepare it for you. Oh, 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 it's up to you. Yeah, guys, we're gonna hang out till Horde Night, and then we're oh, we'll catch up with you then. Guys, it's Horde Night now, so. Oh, I just shot one time off. I just had to restart my recording <laughs> just because it was coming up on 50 minutes. I don't think I could have last. It would have lasted through the Horde Night. Oh, some um, have lost their legs. Up to the power of spikes. Yeah, stand I over the spikes. They'll just walk off the spikes and be. I in. actually just I realized I forgot to turn on a spotlight, so I literally jumped on top of the spotlight, turned it on, and I just jumped back over. 
I'm like, I should be fine. This should be fine. Alright, let's get into these zombies. I keep seeing my arrow hit the one frame. Yeah, it's weird. They... Yeah, it's really weird like that. That's why, like, later on, like, I, I like using, uh... That's why I like using, later on, like, uh, iron bars, because you don't have those issues. I'm half tempted to remove move some of the center pieces on, or the iron pieces like this, so you can shoot down. Don't pick it up to where I fall into the spikes, though. Yeah, now I'm having an easier time hitting them. Well, that would be hilarious. You just fall and dead. Dead. Oh, I'm starting to heat up again. Oh, nurse. Nurse. Hey, Miss Nurse. Oh, there goes your leg. Oh, you got a big guy. Him in the head. He's knocked out. And he's dead. Two shot. You know the spikes we encountered in, like, uh, that well bunker we did in the first recording that failed? Yeah. Those actually, uh, from what I remember, they actually do more damage than these, uh, log spikes. Uh, not really, because these log spikes have the chance to cripple zombies, so it makes them extremely good. Well, the It's also why they're taken out of the newer versions. They actually... The shape of the spikes actually still exists in the PC version, but they're not spikes anymore. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is like, no, the the wood spikes, uh, the those spikes. Uh, yeah, I know, uh, I know what you're mean. To, they can cripple zombies too. It's just that uh, they 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 take a they they have a lot less HP, but they actually do more damage to zombies. Like they do like a lot more. Get That's some fatso over to the northeast scrapyard. Do we both just saying him? <laughs> Zing. And then further north. Yep, they're all just going. This, this is, is my film from afar. This is why I like having a. Uh... Oh, it's snowing now. It, this uh, is I why... think that's only where you're at, because it's raining where I'm at. Okay, yeah, we're in that weird kind of area, but... Yeah, guys, like, oh. once we're going over... Once we're done with this oh. Horde Night, we should, uh... We're gonna be going over to, uh... We're gonna move out of town here, like, uh... We'll take what we can with, uh, us, but... We want to, we figured we kind of picked through the loot in this and uh, it'd be a good time just to, just to, uh, you know, start moving. Um, I'm actually going to make a new bow because I'm, because my current... Let me make you one? I got a, I should be able to make a very good uh, quality bow, so... And here it comes. One coming from the east. Level 209 for me. 209. Alright. Nice. Yeah, it's like, uh. It, it's. Oh, that one just died. Him once after he got hit with all that spike damage. Oh, that one's head just got taken off. What I was saying though is like, what I've seen people do on this version of the game is, uh. They actually, you can actually rotate the spikes to, uh... E. To, and upside down? Yeah, and they'll still deal damage. Yeah. And then they'll, and then it's they'll put... bullshit with how OP it is. Yeah, very you can OP. You put in that and then the normal spikes on top of them, right? Yeah, or if you really felt like it, uh, put barbed wire above them. And it's like, you can just make it really powerful. It's like, it's it's stupidly overpowered, and it's like, but it's like, I say this about the console version. What's nice is, like, since the, uh, since the new version that is coming, it's like, it's not an update. It's literally, like, it's going to be a, it's like, we're still going to have this version Oh, here. there's a fire one. 
far northeast on the far er, northeast corner. Oh of yeah. Scrapyard. Can barely see him, but. Yep. I'm trying to snipe him. I call him. I call him. I'm in him. I call him crispy bacon. You can yeah. barely see the arrow after it launches. As I was saying, though, it's like, well, we'll still have this version around, so it's like, in a sense, this version serves as a time capsule. Uh, you know, to show how the old ser how the old version is. It's really cool. So it's like, you know, I know there's some, like, some person that has, like, all the PC versions of, uh... Oh, I thought something blew up. <laughs> I'm like... <gasps> Run! That's it. Nope. 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 I'm out of here. <laughs> you you scared me with the blunderbuss. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what's blowing up? It's a very damaging shotgun. Yeah, especially once you get right up in their faces. Yeah, some people say like, oh, the blunderbuss sucks and everything. I'm like, it's one of the. Have you seen it? <laughs> Well, it's like it's one of those you have to you have to run right up to the you basically have to get right up on them and then pull the trigger and then they then they die usually especially if you have a high level blunderbuss and shotgun skill. Like I remember, like yo, know, once you got oh, higher, they broke through the door. They're finally e coming over. <laughs> oh, brother! It took so long. I'm, I'm jumping on the uh, I'm jumping on the spotlight to get better range. Your foot's in the way. I can't took, snipe him. I think I just took one out. Yeah. Fatso is uh, immune to my arrows for now because he's because the fence is blocking it and the corpse is also taking some shots. I knocked him back. I'll, I'll take out the fat, so I'll be down. Be down. Then we got the red shirt guy uh, stuck with a couple others. Ah! What was that? My scream. <laughs> ah! You hit me with an arrow. Did it take damage? No. Exactly. I just, I know the... I now oh. have 40 skill points. Yeah, I haven't got as many zombie kills as you, so... And tonight, so... No, really... what? no, you have more than me. So... No, I don't. You have 90. I meant on the Horde Night itself. You wanna do something risky? Oh, hi, Mikey, and his brother. Alright, Mikey, come on, you know you're better than this. Quit being a squirrely little brat. You mean the one running back and forth? Yeah, I call him, like, uh, I... He's actually... Shout out. His, his name is... Like... His name's Mikey. That is actually not my name, like, uh, that I came up with. That was actually one of my first comments on my channel like uh because i asked i'm like what should we name this guy it's like and somebody uh said like how about mikey because he's got that undead swagger <laughs> i'm like that you know i like it mikey it is all right and now one bites the dust another one bites the dust and northeast. another one's gone north one. northeast far or northeast what? Oh. That's it. Come here. I want to have a word with you. <laughs> I want to have a word with you about your car's extended warranty. I took his arm off. Damn. Immediate head to uh, removing the limbs. What is this? Star Wars? Off with your arm. Off with your leg. Then when I shot him in the head, it, it destroyed his body. He turned into he turned into a eludable corpse, like a one of the goo piles here. 
Yeah, that's caused by like all the uh, pellets that the blunderbuss has. It's like same with the shotgun. Like if I one shot a zombie, usually it's like they'll either turn into a body, like they'll they'll either like ragdoll like they usually do, or like the shotgun will just uh, hit it with all the pellets and like the the ones that kill it will kill the zombie, and then uh, the other zombie will be uh, will be. Like it'll just turn turn into a, a a gore pile. Well, let's start looting and since we're since we're not exactly busy, so Ah yes, a zombie gave me one wood. I love Blue that. Bandana gunpowder. I found some military fiber. Nice. Yeah, one guy like uh like the guy that actually suggested the name for Mikey, like that red shirt zombie, like uh, on my channel. When I was going over like yo weapons and everything, I'm like yo, people like a lot of like some people don't know this, and it's like uh, and they probably have just as much am like a uh, time as me on this version. I'm like, they're like uh, I said like yo like you can find sniper rifle parts out of feral whites and uh, like 44 magnum pieces. I think even sub machine gun pieces out of it. Oh, look, a crawler. He, and, uh... Damn, he took you three bomb shots. Guard, dude. Like, he, you shot yours, it didn't go down. Yeah, the crawler can... Well, that's Horde Knight. Uh, but, uh... You know, it's like I was saying, uh... Oh, yeah, cops can actually... Ended. Cops that can actually drop full pistols loaded with ammunition and shotguns fully loaded with the ammunition, like... And so... But yeah, that's Horde Knight, guys. A pretty successful little thing, and, uh, you know, wonderful. And so, gonna end that here, and, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day. Uh, you'll see Fangs again.